I think we should probably go back to Tatooine to give the, the chieftain's stick to the Zerka Corps because we didn't do that and we're supposed to do that. I feel... I mean, I don't feel bad not complying with Zerka Corps, but still. I feel like we probably should. And we have to talk to Juhani because, if you didn't know, we had a poll and Juhani is going to be our bay, Or that's what we're gonna try to do. Oh my gosh, Ogre! Yeah, I have not seen a bathroom yet. You don't poop in the future. What? What is this? Okay, let's let's try to have a chat with Juhani and see what happens. Yes. What is it? Is something wrong? I was remembering Taris. <gasps> Hi courtesy ninja, how are you doing? Whoa, really? <laughs> I'm guessing you're responding to the pooping in the future thing, not the romancing Juhani thing. I'm sorry, Juhani. No, it's all right. I think I'm over the worst of it. I apologize again for lashing out at you. It was not your fault. It was a horrible place to have to live, at least in the lower cities where the non-humans tended to get relegated. Living for years in a place with no sun, living off the trash dropped from the upper levels, and the meager pay doing back-breaking labor. Okay, this is going way better than our last conversation. Not bad. Good to hear that. I'm doing well. A bug just hit me in the face, I swear. I was doing well until a bug hit me in the face. Hang on. Is there a bug in my face phone? Nope, looks fine. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing well. Thanks, Ninja, good to see you. Have you seen any litter boxes though? <laughs> Juhani keeps that hidden in her cupboards. Okay, I see. I feel like I keep getting hit by a bug. Am I starting to imagine things? Am I hallucinating? And those raccoons. There was always the danger of raccoons coming up from the sewers, or more mundane predators living and working in the area. My family and I struggled each and every day to make something of our lives. But we could only go so far. Taxes from the corrupt government. More fees from the gangs controlling the streets. The swoop gangs. And whatever was left paying for what food and medical supplies we could afford. Oh. No one would help you? And of course, there was the constant bigotry and hate from the more affluent and human citizens. Lording their wealth over us living below. Every once in a while, a rich human would come down through the lower levels with his droid entourage just to see how the wildlife lived <gasps> and laughed at the mockeries that were our successes. But I have come to meet what? many decent humans in my travels since those days. Indeed, some of the greatest people I have ever met are human. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm feeling like this could turn into a flirt session, y'all. No pressure. Some of the greatest people I've ever met are human. Um, are you talking about me? <laughs> One of the Jedi you met? Or, or maybe we shouldn't be so presumptuous. Let's ask, like who? The Jedi who encouraged me to join the Order. The one who was with the group going to fight the Mandalorians. She was human. I, I suppose I see something of her in you when I look, <gasps> I'm sorry. I am getting away from my point, if there even was one. Sometimes I curse the day my parents fled to Taris. But then again, if they had not, I would not be where I am today. Oh my gosh, wait, oh! <laughs> We're getting our flirt on. Break out the jazz and the candles and the flowers, the rose petals. <laughs> No pressure, but don't mess this up. <laughs> okay, I'll try. Only a few of my favorite people are human. <laughs> True, same. 
flirt session with the woman whose homeworld got glassed because of you. I know, it feels weird. This calls for Cullen finger guns. Perfectly appropriate CM. Thank you for that. I was like, ah! It's a happening! <laughs> if they'd not, I would not be where I am today. And her eyes are saying, I wouldn't have met you. <laughs> Your parents? Another story for another time. For now, we must continue our own epic to save the galaxy if we can. Oh, that was so great! <gasps> Let's talk to her again. I might be pushing my luck, but I'm going for How it. may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Are you doing all right? I have been doing well, I suppose. As well as I can. But I am more interested in you right now. Do not mistake me. It is just that even though we have traveled together for a while, it seems I know next to nothing about you personally. Oh, that was smooth. That was smooth. What do you want to know? We have been traveling together since Tantooine, but I know nothing of you before that. Would you... Would you humor me and tell me a little bit about yourself? I'd love to. It's not a very interesting story. <laughs> Humility. Please, if you would, indulge me. Your job, your childhood, your life, your family. I am sorry if I am making you uncomfortable. Are you, uh, married? You choose not to answer. No, it's all right. I greatly appreciate your taking the time to talk to me. How did you come to be on Dantooine, besides the obvious? Oh my gosh, this is definitely flirting. Okay. <gasps> I was in the Republic fleet that was destroyed over Terrace. Wait, what? Were we? Yeah, we were. And then we crash landed on Terrace. I was in the Republic fleet that was destroyed over Terrace. Terrace. It always seems to come back to Terrace for me. I am sorry. I, I, I get distracted. What did you do before ta before that? I was a soldier for the Republic. A life in the army. Not my career of choice, though. We Cathar cannot seem to adjust to regimented organizations like the military. Oh, free but in spirit. A way, it does seem to have its own romantic appeal. Defending the galaxy from evil, much as we Jedi do. So, in a way, I suppose we are more alike than not. But again, I seem to be wasting your time with my, my carrying on. No! I apologize. No! You weren't wasting your time! Let's try again. I didn't mean to, to like, close that conversation I, so early. I have been watching you for some time. I wonder if you have noticed. I have been thinking of how far I had fallen. Oh. And how you exemplify the code of the Jedi. I find myself... Ashamed. Oh my gosh! Everyone's getting vaccinated! It's so exciting! I hope that you're feeling okay though, Denzi. Did you have a good nap after your vaccine? Yeah, it seems to be rough. You should not be so hard on yourself. But I have so little to show when I compare myself to you. And that makes my shame even worse. No, no, that no. I had so easily fallen to the dark side that I could convince myself that by injuring my master, I became a great force of evil in the galaxy for my pride, my hubris, for the inner rage that all of my species feels. Sometimes I wish that I had not been born this way. <gasps> what? It was much needed. Glad to be awake now. Oh my gosh, yeah, I hope that you can recover. Yeah, resting is good, though. I'm glad that you got a chance to do that. You have nothing to be ashamed of. I am sorry. I start to talk, thinking about how you stay strong to the path of virtue and justice. Let me see your face. You are the one <gasps> from my dreams. You. Would be to see <gasps> Tink! Lessons so well. As am I. Tink! Thank you so much! 
I missed that last bit, but we can go back. The council would be proud to see that you'd learned your lessons so well, as am I. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. <gasps> yes, ogre. That's the ogre command. It's a good command. Oh my goodness, Tink, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna try again. She's been watching me. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Tell me more about your past. Well, I mentioned before that my parents had fled to Taris. Perhaps yeah. I can tell you about that. Yes, please. <gasps> Varric! Okay, here comes Varric. Goodbye, Cullen. The commander whose bum we like to squeeze. Quite regularly. Okay, here's Varric! The master of chest hair and crossbows. Oh my gosh, speaking of Varric, did y'all see? Um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking. Oh, Grey Enchanter on Twitter. Do any of you follow her? Or them? I guess I don't know their pronouns. Because they just made some amazing fan art of Varric and Bianca, and it's hilarious. Please do. In the early days of the Mandalorian War, there had been fighting closer to the Outer Rim worlds. I accept internet hugs and good wishes. Okay. Well, I'm sending them to you. Hugs for Tink. Hmm. What caused them to flee? Cathar was there, yes. My people had a great reputation as warriors, and that appealed to the Mandalore version of honor. Mm. They sought to test themselves against us, I think. Test themselves by bombing our world, slaughtering my people while they slept or while they ran. I wonder if she's fuzzy. Like her skin. <laughs> Juhani tells deep personal traumatic story of her people being slaughtered, right? I wonder if her skin is fuzzy. I just was wondering, you know. It's, uh, not that I'm not listening to her speak. <laughs> but yeah, it's terrible. We do not like the Mandalorians right now. Bad. <sighs> well, well. What have we here? Charlie! Hello! Welcome to the tavern, new tavern member. Cheers! Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. How did it happen? Or, oh, the Mandalorian spot dirty. They swooped down from space, across the world, firing at anything that moved. They used ships in space to destroy all orbital facilities and bombard the surface. We did resist. And in spite of their violent attack, we did stave them off for quite a while. But in the end, we were doomed. Hmm. Why did the Republic not help you? We were not members of the Republic. Cathar was beyond the edge of the Republic and the Outer Rim. Mm. And besides, they could not have known. Aww. Our interstellar communications were the first things the Mandalores hit. All other short-range communicators were jammed. We were on our own. We knew what was coming. We had fought the Mandalorians in the first war against Exar Kun and the Sith. We knew there would be no mercy for us. The most we could do was pack the few of our people who survived onto what few ships remained and send them off into space as fast as they could. Most did not make it. Oh my gosh! Horrible! But you survived? My parents carried me as a baby with them oh. and were lucky enough to escape. They fled as far as they were able and eventually settled on Taris. They could stand running no further, I think. But Taris was a horrible choice. Dominated by humans, intolerant of other species, made everyday life <gasps> unnecessarily. Terrible. How did your family cope? My father, my father turned to stimulants. He spent much of his time in local bars and dives. Oh no. But we are warriors. It runs through our blood. And when he was on stims, he, he, he became foolish. He let his warrior nature get the best of him. So he would get intoxicated, and he would fight. And finally, one day, he would die. Horrible! 
He died? Killed by a man who provoked him into a fight and killed him like an animal. I, I am sorry. I, I cannot talk about this any longer right now. Oh, you can cry on her shoulder. Okay, never mind. Bye. Looks like the control room, with which nobody is uh, controlling currently. I have returned with more water and pizza. Yes, I'm taking a risk by eating pizza on stream because this has been known to mess with my internet sometimes. I don't think it's the pizza's fault. I think it was a coincidence, but I'm hungry, so I'm risking it. The party banter in DA2 is like, Skyrim's out again. Skyrim doesn't like KOTOR. Skyrim is very jealous. <laughs> I think that... What is Skyrim mad about this time? Because last time Skyrim was mad about us being in the depths of the sea on Manan on a quest where we couldn't even run up the hills or go through the grass. It was just a, an invisible wall. And Skyrim was like, nope. <laughs> I think Skyrim is saying nope to my pizza. <laughs> yes, exactly. Skyrim's afraid of the pizza. <laughs> okay, Karth, how are you? Yes, what's on your mind? You seem like you're far away. Is something wrong? Oh, it's it's nothing. Sorry. It doesn't seem like nothing. No, I told you my wife died four years ago. I... I, I've just been trying to remember what she looked like. It shouldn't be so difficult. I, I can remember things about her, things she did, the way she smiled, what her hair smelled like. Our last fight, just not her face. I try and hold it in my head, but it, it, it's gone. It, I know, is that strange? Maybe I shouldn't be talking to you about this. Aww. Will you get over her already? It's been four years. Okay. No, we're not going to say that. No, it's not strange, Karth. You remember the important things. But I should be able to remember her face. It's it, it's frustrating. I, I feel like I'm losing Okay, her. put your gun I, down. <laughs> it must look really strange for me to be obsessing like this still. You, you must think I'm incredibly stupid. What? Why, why would we think that? Your wife was brutally murdered four years ago. I, I would still not be over it. It's been four years. He is traumatized, indeed. He's finally opened up to us about this, though. It's exciting. He's ha He has more depth now than just, like, being the whiny guy. He's like, I'm always left out of everything. No, but I doubt your wife would want you to do this to yourself. Well, I, I suppose you're probably right, but I have to do it anyway. The only thing that's kept me going since she died has been the need to find Saul and kill him. It's better to think about that than anything else. If I can do that, then maybe I can let her go. Let it all go. If we encounter Saul, if we ever have the, the chance, promise me that I'll be the one to kill him. I, I have to settle this. I need to. I smell a side quest. If we get the opportunity, then I promise. Thank you. I, uh, I guess there's really nothing else to say. Okay. Did we get a side quest? No, I guess not. Okay. Okay, let's go back to Tatooine and bring the... Was it the sand people thing? Take the gaffy to the Zerka office in Anchorhead. Okay, back to Tatooine to return the gaffy stick. Back to Tatooine. I need to go to Tashi Station for power converters. Come on. He has a point, yeah. Does he need to be? <laughs> he has a lot of feelings and his guns are just like waving around. It's very uncomfortable. I don't know what to do. Do you think those guns are tasers? Maybe. He's got guns glued to his hands. Okay, please, please, please don't make us do the mini game.
No! What happened? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. Are you kidding me? Tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. <gasps> Saul Karras vessel. My own mentor. What? Oh, snap! Okay. We're hurtling through space. Oh my gosh! That's a big ship! <gasps> what? Oh no. Yeah, that was uh, gonna be really bad if the game had uh, quit. Sometimes it like minimizes from cutscenes. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. God. He was a legend in the Republic fleet and a hero to me until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. Okay, let's do this. Don't do anything you'll regret, Karth. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody- Better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. I'll admit it won't, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. All right. Wind Admiral Carruth doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. This is so exciting! Karth knows Saul the best. He can get us out of this. The Admiral will be watching the three of us far too closely for any plot involving you, me, or Karth to succeed. It's going to be up to one of the others to get us out of this. Oh, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching oh, up our okay. ramp. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, who do we choose? I, I mean, our regular team is... Oh, wait, do I have to? Oh, I think that my group has to be these three? I'm so confused. Am I picking someone to go with me? Or like send ahead? I, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I mean, Juhani is my, my main woman. Juhani, you can use your force powers and camouflage abilities to avoid capture. Camouflage abilities? Just because she's a cat? <laughs> Does she camouflage well on a ship, though? <laughs> okay, Juhani, go. You speak the truth. I alone of all the group might be able to remain hidden if the Sith searched the ship. I could wait until the guards have completed their search, then come to rescue you. I'll try it your way, Juhani. May the Force be with you. Hold on. They're dragging us into the docking Oh no! Bridge. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We searched the ship from top to bottom. Somebody would have had to be invisible for us not to find She them. did it. Well done. Return to your post and I'll tell the Admiral of this. She did it! <gasps> oh no. Karth, it has been We're in our undies. Long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face. Okay, that's really bright. Even as I I'm sorry, y'all. I will kill you for what you did to my homeworld. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was Please a look away if you're sensitive betrayal. to brightness. Your fleet that's bombed a good. civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the dark side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. 
I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. I mean, we have a higher light side point score than she does, so I mean, come on. Give us some credit, guy. You're wasting your time, Saul. I'll never betray the Jedi. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty Shh. to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just kill you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. History? What are you talking about? You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, Great. you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <gasps> oh no! Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Wait, what? Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. My loyalty is as true as Karth's. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. No. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Karth will suffer. No! Wait, this is really taking a turn. Karth is all right. We don't want him to suffer. Don't go ahead, torture him. I don't really like him anyway. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, he's gonna be mad, but I think that like Liliana has to save us. I will not betray the Jedi, even to save Karth. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Ooh, we can use our persuasion skills. Hopefully this works. He's already suffering anyway, it's true. Alderaan. It's on Alderaan. Alderaan is not Damn it. a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. Very well, this is the price no. of your existence. Ah! No! Enough. You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing remains but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. What? No, you're lying. It isn't true. It doesn't matter whether you believe me or not. The fact remains that the Jedi on Dantooine have been eradicated. What? Along with any hope of someone coming to rescue you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? No, no, no. I won't betray the Jedi. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences oh my gosh. of refusing to cooperate. No! no! Listen, can you not hear him suffering? You can spare him further pain by simply answering my questions. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? This is horrifying! <sighs> this accomplishes nothing, Saul. We will never betray the Republic. Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! Ah! Ah! No! I beg you! Mercy! No! I am surprised he did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I'm wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. Oh my gosh! Tayray! 
Sleep well. Thank you so much for the raid. Take care. Recovered yet? Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. No one is without hope of redemption, Bastila. Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? Yeah, what the heck? Is that for real? Maybe Admiral Karath was lying. I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to Please. us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. Oh! We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, and Ah, uh, Zah. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saul gets back. Where is Saul Karath now? Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I, uh... Good thing! I have to confess something. There was a, there was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping that you would tell him what he wanted to know. Just to make the horrible pain stop. Oh, I'm sorry, Karth. Watching you suffer tore me apart. No, I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you had no other choice. You couldn't betray our cause. I, I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. Watch you suffer like that, I... I might have cracked. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we are here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Juhani busts us out of here before he arrives. I believe in you, girl! That's my girl! Yes! Because Jellico and Jellico see Jellico and Jellico What? We get to play as Juhani? No, this is so cool! This is great!